Welcome back to day four of our 31 Days of Horror series. Today we're diving into a classic that's guaranteed to mess with your head. 1987's film, Hellraiser. We are gonna raise more hell than Hellraiser! Hey honey, you want some salt for your steak? Yeah, sure. <laughs> gotcha, that's more salt than you wanted. So the plot kicks off with Frank, your classic shady character who messes around with a mysterious box. Spoiler alert, it's not really a good idea for Frank. This isn't your average Rubik's Cube. The box opens up the gates of hell, summoning these alien forms called Cenobites. Some seriously twisted demons who believe in pain and pleasure are all the same. Frank gets ripped apart, literally, but he's not staying dead for long. After his brother Larry and Larry's wife Julia move into the house where Frank met his fate, a little blood spill brings Frank back. Well, sort of. He comes back as a gooey, muscle-less version of himself and needs more blood to fully regenerate. So Julia, because of course, she's in love with him, starts luring men to the house for Frank to feed on. But Frank's niece, Christy, isn't having any of this twisted family reunion. She gets her hands on the puzzle box and accidentally summons the Cenobites herself. Now she's got to strike a deal with them to save her own life and stop Frank. It's a bloody, gory mess, and just the way us horror fans like it. The thing that really sticks out about this film besides the gore is the Cenobites, especially Doug motherfucking Bradley, who will go on to be known as Pinhead, but in this film was actually cast and is named the Lee Cenobite. Pinhead came later in the series. Pinhead became iconic with the grid patterned head and nails sticking out like he's ready for some industrial DIY. Bradley's portrayal of Pinhead isn't your typical slasher villain. He's more like the creepy priest of pain, the guy who shows up and calmly explains why you're about to spend eternity being torn apart by chains, really casually and creepy. The Cenobites themselves? Man, they are nightmare fuel. We got Chatterer, who looks like his teeth took over his whole face, Butterball, who's, well, a Butterball, and the female Cenobite, who rocks a throat piercing like no other. These guys are the real deal when it comes to making you rethink ever touching a weird puzzle box. This film was directed by the great Clive Barker and based on his short story, The Hellbound Heart. So you can totally tell he got free range of how to make his characters look and feel creepy, as well as the horror scenes and gore scenes in this film are just extraordinary. If gore is what you're into, Hellraiser delivers in buckets. Frank's resurrection scene, that's body horror at its finest, with muscles and skin reassembling like a jigsaw puzzle from hell. Hooks, chains, blood, this movie doesn't hold back at all. It is as much about pushing boundaries of what you can stomach as it is about messing with your mind. And that's what made the film so great. It was something that we hadn't seen before. And there's Pinhead. This character became such an icon that he's been parodied all over the place, from Family Guy to Robot Chicken. Pinhead's creepy demeanor and those unforgettable one-liners have been spoofed time and time again. He's not just a horror legend, he's a pop culture staple. So if you're in the mood for some gnarly gore, sadistic demons and a plot that will make you swear off solving puzzle boxes forever, Hellraiser's your jam. Just remember, never mess with a creepy puzzle box or Pinhead might be coming for you next. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check us out tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.